All right, I'm back for the end of the day recap. So we had Janet Yellen speaking today in front of Congress, and uh, she was sounded a little bit hawkish. You know, said, "Well, we can't really wait much longer to raise those rates." So number one, I just want to say this was the forecast I had made all throughout this year that the Fed would. Uh, get back on track with raising interest rates. And as you know, there are a lot of people out there, all those quacks uh, who said they were never going to raise interest rates again. And interestingly, uh, those quacks were the same quacks who were telling us, you know, that the uh, low rates and zero rates and the asset uh, purchases by the Fed, that was all going to lead to hyperinflation and a collapse in the dollar. So they, they were completely wrong on one side. They're completely wrong on the other side. I got it right. We're all doing very well in our TBT trade. We've been short the 10-year um, the treasuries, although I covered that recently at a very nice profit, but I will short that again, but still long the TBTs. Anyway, uh, what I want to talk about is the dollar, because as you know, I think the dollar is um, putting in a major, major top here. The people who are buying the dollar now, those are the same people who, you know, seven, eight years ago, they were selling the dollar because they thought that the what the Fed was doing was going to destroy the dollar. And of course, that was completely wrong. And I, I put up the video that I did in 2009 saying that the dollar was going to be in a long-term uptrend, uptrend in seven years now. Okay, it's going to be over. Uh, rate hikes, I will go over the fundamentals again from an MMT perspective, which is the right perspective. I mean, you could, you could try to uh, attack this or, or debunk it all you want, but you're wrong. You're just wrong. Rate hikes are fiscal expansions. They necessarily cause the government to spend more, payment of interest. Okay, they are also uh, functionally price increases. They're inflationary. They're not deflationary. As a price increase, uh, by the way, that's because uh, the cost of credit is reflected in the price of all goods and services. So you raise the rate and prices go up. And we see a direct correlation with that. You can go back and you can look at the period in the late 70s, even when Volcker took over. And it was, it was lockstep. Every time they raised rates, inflation went up. And then they raised it more, inflation went up. And then you had some things, uh, finally, um, you know, you had a recession, and uh, you also had, at that time, major new discoveries in oil, the North Sea, the deregulation of the oil industry that Jimmy Carter uh, put through. Um, so you had uh, also Saudi's uh, expansion of, of their capacity big time. Uh, you had made and uh, Prudhoe Bay, Alaska. So you had a collapse in oil prices at that time, which led also to the uh, the reversal of inflation. But it had nothing to do with uh, the Fed. The Fed was actually fueling the inflation, and the whole that whole meme, that whole uh, you know idea that uh, Volcker broke the back of inflation is just nonsense. He contributed to inflation. And it's probably he's probably the guy with the most undeserved, you know, record, or um, you know what what people think about him, uh, reputation of anybody. Okay, so we saw the dollar rise today on Yellen's comments again. This is a zombie move. Okay, this is a pure zombie move. And I told you many times uh, when these zombie moves happen, and I'm always right, they end up reversing themselves. You know, the one thing that's a little bit tricky for somebody like me or, or a, 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 an MMT person who is also a skilled trader like myself, and there aren't too many of them, I think, you know, maybe some of you are, are developing into those kinds of uh, traders. The hard thing for us is not to know what's going to happen based on the fundamentals. It's, it's not, uh, you know, also our mental game. It might be tough, you know, in terms of have, we need to have the grit and the fortitude and the, and the focus and the discipline to, to stick with it. But what's hard sometimes is to gauge the, you know, the insanity uh, of the zombie crowd. Uh, so that's the thing. But, you know, look, it costs me nothing to wait. I have positions on. They'll all turn into a profit. 
Every single thing I've done turned into a profit. I told you about my Euro pound a short position, which I had on for three months. Closed it out today at a profit. Okay, everything. I had the uh, S&P position, which was way against me. All right, when, when we were leading up to the election. Closed that out at a nice profit. And then it kept on going, okay? But I don't care about that because I practice detachment. I have a gold position on right now, deeply underwater. That's going to be a profit, okay? I'm telling you right now, that is going to be a profit. So the dollar position, I am building a short position in the dollar right now. If I have to sit, I have to sit. It costs me nothing to sit. Uh, and um, sitting is what allows me to make a profit on everything that I do. So that is it. That is uh, my synopsis of today. Uh, the Fed will raise rates in December, on December 14th. We might have some sort of a reflex reaction by the zombie crowd, but that's great because uh, essentially what they're doing is handing me their money. Handing me their money. Very simple. So that's it for now. Maybe see you later. If not, definitely tomorrow. Bye-bye.